Alrighty, today, another nice day. Um, I just thought I'd hop in the cart here in the village of Bradford. And uh, right through what we have here in the villages of Bradford as well, uh, the Opal Villas. Opal Villas. We only have one patio villa within the village of Bradford where we purchased. But we also have these, what I believe are courtyard villas. And if I'm mistaken, please let me know. Another section on the northern end of the village of Bradford. So I just thought I'd do a little quick ride through and uh, show some of you people who may be interested in a courtyard villa. These have little privacy fences. A lot of people have their pets and they want to be able to take them outside in the backyard and so the dogs can do their business. This particular house here has got a nice big corner lot and perfect for your own essential fire hydrant. Uh, maybe your dog won't use that, I don't know. But anyway, many of these homes are still available for purchase. I'm not sure exactly what the price range would be. I know I'm, you're talking at least, you know, over 200 plus, I'm sure. And that back section right there leads out to the golf cart trails, which are very nice. One homeowner got moved in, done some very very interesting landscaping. Many of these houses are stucco finished. Stucco, two car garage, golf cart, golf cart garage. Oh, these people have done some interesting landscaping to their, to their property. Getting it all decked out for Christmas. There's Fido. But as I was saying, I think many of these homes are still uh, vacant, available for sale. I know some of them have been sold, I believe. Kind of hard to tell anymore until somebody gets in there. There's your walking path. No golf carts allowed. And as we ride through the through these the Opal Villas, it's actually quite a large area. The village of Bradford only has one small patio villa, where some may have two. We have one. And it's not very big, that's what makes it really nice. I enjoy it out there. Me and the wife both love it. It's quaint, cute, and cozy. And we do have some open houses today, as usual, here in the villages. Somebody getting some trees put in. Big one. And we see some contractors over here doing some some landscaping for somebody. Most of the homeowners are buying in the villages do not aren't particularly fond of the contractor grade landscaping. Many of them We'll have it changed out. 
put in something a little bit more Floridian, if you know what I mean. Because this is the villages after all. One of the big selling points for me and my wife is we love the landscape. Palm trees, all the various different types of palms all around. Quite beautiful. Lovely to listen to in the wind. I love these type of palm trees right here. And I'm also very fond of the queen palms myself. I come to appreciate how tall they get. Trunks don't get super thick. And they have long, wispy palm leaves that just flutter in the wind. Uh, it just feels and sounds Caribbean, in my opinion. Take it through another little side area here in the Opal Villas. Excuse the golf cart. But as you can see, some of these have very nice paint jobs, two tone on the stucco homes. So, if you've got about 300 grand or at least 250 to spend, well, this may be an option for you. Very nice neighborhood, very nice people for what we've seen so far. Oh, you're going to see that guy in the midnight. Go down as one little side street. I haven't been down here yet. As you know, <clears throat> notice that uh, many of these homes got very vibrant, colorful things. Variation, different, many different variations of colors, paint jobs on these houses. Very interesting. It's like opening up a box of crayons. Just a wide variety of colors. You know, a lot of people say these homes and many houses in the villages are cookie cutter. Well, yes and no. Each home has something to offer. You know, they resemble one another. Each model does have something a little different. But I'm okay with that. I don't mind the, the normal look, the average look, or, or, or the cookie cutter look, rather, of many of these homes, because as far as I'm concerned, they are very beautiful to look at. A lot of people will take these homes and love them and make it their own. Add their personalized landscaping, palm trees and stuff. And you'll notice here in the next few years how everything will transform into another beautiful village's oasis. One that could hard, be hardly appreciated until you get out here. Well, I'm going to pick up the pace here a little bit. I need to let this video get too long. With one of my faves, that gray and white, very pretty. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, in case anybody was wondering, I haven't seen anybody do a video on the uh, Opal Villas in the village of Bradford. And if you like this video, uh, please subscribe and click that like button. There's our recreational area.
Yes, and the Opalvillas are right next to the Blanford Post Office and the Recreation Center, where the swimming pool is. So there you have it. The Opal Villas and the Village of Bradford. You ever get some time to come out and do a lifestyle visit? Um, come out here and take a look. You get a personal view of the Opal Villas. I think you'll enjoy them. And uh, Gracie Villas as well. And uh, have a great one. See ya.